I am a 21 year old adoptee and neurodivergent young person. I come from England, from the Yorkshire, York area. I currently study at university. I've just finished my second year doing sociology and I also do various freelance pieces of work around my experiences as an adoptee and a neurodivergent person. I think I've always had a sense of right and wrong. I think that's one of the big reasons why I'm now into advocacy and sort of sharing my experiences and trying to hopefully improve the lives and experiences of others with similar experiences or even if I've got completely different experiences. So I was adopted at the age of four years old after two years in care. So I was a bit of an older adoptee. Um, and I think overall, I've had a really positive experience of being an adoptee. I've had really supportive adoptive parents. I've had supportive social workers. I've had really supportive networks around me of keeping contact with birth family or at least keeping in knowledge of who my birth family is. It was never a secret of I was adopted. It was a sort of thing told instantly. I was always told instantly about, you know, my birth family and the realities. And I think identity rights is that right to who you are. I think that starts way before you're even born. It's sort of that thing of identity rights is, you know, you are born with identity you know, I think people try and say you're not. And actually, you get to make some choices later on in life if you sort of go with identity or not. But 100% is a choice you can make later on in life. But till you can make that choice almost, you are born with certain identities. And identity right is actually, but, you know, right to A, hold on to that and be allowed to keep that, but also that right to make a choice later in life. Because actually, for me, for example, I have... In my birth family, Scottish and Irish heritage. In my adoptive family, I've got British heritage. And actually, I can make the choice now of what do I identify as heritage, my ethnicity, that sort of stuff. I can make that choice now. But obviously, when I was really young, I couldn't make that choice, even though my mum's encouraged it. And so I think identity rights is that sort of thing of you're informed about your identity and to the fullest degree possible. And I think it's not just sometimes always the simple things of like, what's your heritage? you know, where your family has lived, those sort of things, identity rights is no one else can take them away from you or go, yeah, that doesn't fit with our agenda. So we're just going to nip that off. Like, why? You know, I see that a lot of in adoption of people's middle names are never kept. And I'm just there like, but that's an identity. And why are they allowed? You know, to me, that's an identity right that's been broken of, shouldn't it be kept their middle names? Because actually middle names can have a real importance. Like I know that for my middle name, it's about who my birth grandmother is and also about the last snow that was melting when I was born lovely stories you know and actually about hold something and I think it's that importance because they can say so much your identity you know it's how people identify you as such in life how you can introduce yourself in life you know it can give you that clearer picture in life of who you are and actually how you can interact with the world it's a massive thing everyone expects you to have some knowledge of your identity and who you know you are and how you can connect with people and actually if you don't complete have like who your identity is that can create stuff you know it's an expectation you know there's activities in school even where it's like what is your identity like what's your heritage you know what do your parents do for a job or whatever else and actually if you don't fully know that information it can make those interactions really hard because you're sat there going well, actually I don't know and then also sometimes that thing if it's really hard to explain why you don't know it's not as simple as going oh my dad wasn't around so you know my mum made that choice that we're not interacting with acts of bad stuff for a lot of adoptees it's like we don't know because the system chose we didn't choose this the system and actually you're not going to really explain that to your like peers at 14 years old because they'll just go and look at you like you're some alien with two heads of like it's not a concept to them.